I'm Sarah K. Byerly with Emerging Civil War, and today we are out at a site on Kelly's Ford Battlefield, and it has been a hike to get out here. If you intend to come out to this site, um, definitely wear long pants because you're going to be trekking through some undergrowth. So if you're wondering where are we, what is this marker, this is the marker for where Major John Pelham was mortally wounded during the Battle of Kelly's Ford on March 17th, 1863. In the Battle of Kelly's Ford, Union General Averill is going to be bringing his troops across the Rappahannock River at Kelly's Ford in an attempt to bring them face to face with Confederate cavalry to build their confidence. John Pelham wasn't exactly supposed to be at this battle. He ends up here almost by accident, almost by default. He's in Culpeper. Jeb Stewart is there also, so they decide to ride out and help Confederate General Fitz Lee and his Confederate cavalry drive back these Yankees who come across the river. In the midst of the fighting that goes back and forth at Kelly's Ford, um, best accounts suggest that John Pelham felt that he must impetuously get involved in a cavalry charge. So he comes charging toward this position and somewhere very near the area that we're standing, he's going to be mortally wounded by an exploding Hotchkiss shell. It's artillery shell that will explode over his head and send a small fragment of that artillery piece into the back of his skull. He will live into the early morning hours of March 18, 1863, dying at a civilian home in Culpeper, which is some miles away. So this is the spot where he's going to come off his horse and his comrades will pick him up and then send him on for um, attempted medical care. John Pelham commanded Stuart's horse artillery. So for those of you that are like, what's so important about a major? He is starting to revolutionize tactics as far as moving artillery from place to place on a battlefield. He won't be the only one to do this in the Civil War, but he's definitely on the cutting edge, if you will, of that technology and using the horses, using this fast artillery movements to strike against both cavalry and infantry columns. I'm Sarah Byerly, and we are here at Kelly's Ford at the John Pelham Monument.